Our next round is called Look Pond This, where our guests attempt to answer questions about the lesser recognized heroes that have made a big difference. So, your initial thoughts if we take a look at the screens. Oh my gosh, I've kissed one of those. So have I. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same one. I think it is. Oh, he's a dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> so have I. <laughs> Chizzy? Yes. I'm going to start with your team. Uh huh. Which person organised a 20,000 strong Black People's Day of Action March in 1981? Okay, who do we think? I don't think it's Frank Bruno. Four and five, I mean, that's pre 1981, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, five's really old, that picture. Unless he's aged really well. It could be number five, he's aged really well. <laughs> Unless it's one of those retro filters on a smartphone. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I think it's number one, it's Darkest think... Howe. Well, yeah, we're going to go. Do you know who Darkest Howe is? Of course you do. Yes, we're going to go for number one. <laughs> Dark as hell. That's the correct answer. Yeah. 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 This is Dark as hell, British broadcaster, writer, and civil liberties campaigner. Is that what he wore on the march? Open shirt, everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Who of these came to Telford from Jamaica when they were just 10 years old? Four definitely don't look like he's from the ends. <laughs> I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him. Jimmy, what are you saying? We use them glasses, big man. I'm saying John Boyega. <laughs> I need an answer, Judy. What's the Judy, answer from Judy, your team? Saying? I was going towards yeah. five. Five. Going with number five. It is incorrect. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. So we're we taking that over to Chizzy's right. team. Uh, what do you I think? think number two. Um, number two? Yeah, number, number two. two. That's what I was going to say, What's actually. Her name? Do I don't know her name. Yeah, OK. Do you know, we're going to go for a stab in the dark, number two. That is correct. <laughs> this is Paulette Wilson who, fighting her own case in the Windrush scandal, became an activist gathering over 130,000 signatures, calling on the government to be just a little bit less racist. Good luck with that, Paulette. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next question. Which of these earned the nickname African Rosius? Well, it wasn't Frank It wasn't Frank Hugo, It could be a trick question. We're back at four and five again. Yeah, yeah, these yeah, these two five. dons are getting me vexed. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going for number five. The reason yeah. why I'm going for number five, because us Africans, yeah, we, when, we, when we get ready to turn up here, yeah, the get up's real, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so on. much, Kojo. I agree with you. We turn up correct, yes. but that <laughs> answer is it's incorrect. incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Over to <laughs> Team yeah, Chizzy. We know who it is, because being a true African, oh. um, <laughs> number yeah. four yeah. looks like he's from the Igbo tribe of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> he does look yeah. like he's like with the, the skin. Nice... <laughs> yes! <laughs> and he has that look where he's looking up going, mother, don't come in the picture. Leave me alone. What do you think? Go for it. Yeah, number four? Number yeah, four? Yeah, yeah. We're going to go for number four, please. That is correct. Yes. Wow. Come on, son. Come on, son. This is Ira Aldrich, a renowned actor of the 1800s who toured the world, playing in Austria, Russia, the whole of Europe, even here. We're staying with your team now, Chizzy. Who can tell me this person's name? Number five. Imran. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a surname off of you? Do not say Khan. Um, I don't know any other ones. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's incorrect. Uh, Over to you, Judy. I didn't want that question. I wanted the question. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, I'm sorry. This is the game. To number six. It's like you're trying to set Gail up. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, what happened? We had a vibe we at the did. beginning of the show. I had, I'm glad you corrected it, too. We did. We had. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me the name of this person, please? Just... I feel like he looks like a Charles. You he know, looked like, he, he looked like a Dana, but... His real name was ripped away from him as he was ripped away from his homeland. You know, so a Charles Thomas Smith, one of those. Okay, you just I give need him an the answer. Whitest names, in it? Yes. <laughs> Charles Thomas and Smith. Yes. <laughs> he deserves them names. Look what he was trying to get in the club with them outfit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need an answer. I feel answer. like he's a famous pianoist or something. This is Samuel Coleridge Taylor. English composer from 1875 See? to 1912, not to be mistaken for the poet. So Did we get congratulations, a point? you get half a point. Judy, I've got a great question for you. It's your turn. Obviously, this is the legend Frank Bruno, but can you tell me how many fights he won, Judy? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I said this is Frank Bruno. Like, oh, you know that. Sorry, he's a national what, treasure. Too soon? He won all of them apart from the fight against the system. So let's go to the <laughs> 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 I'm saying 30s um, Jim. Yes. No, not you. No, I'm Jim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can have to say Jimmy A or Jimmy no, J okay. or something. Handsome Jimmy. Listen. <laughs> when you, he's in the 30s. So what are we saying? Definitely in the 30s. 
I'll say about f 32. Yeah. Something like that. yeah. All right, 32 it is. That is incorrect. Oh. Over to you, Team Chizzy. We're going to go with 35. What do you reckon? 35? 36. 36 <laughs> is your answer, and that is incorrect, but I'm going to be generous. 36 is closer to 40 and 38 knockouts, so yeah! the winner of that round is Team Chizzy. Woohoo!